What's going on everybody? King Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Series 29 Eric Rowan and as you can see he includes a lamb mask and chair. We have Eric Rowan here in the packaging, the lamb mask, the chair and then you can see a piece of paper there that's instructions on how to build the chair. On the back we have a nice picture of Eric Rowan with the creepy lamb mask and a read up. Creeping into the scene from the nightmarish deep dark woods, Eric Rowan came into the attention of the WWE Universe as part of the eerie Wyatt family. Clearly displaying animalistic tendencies, along with Rowan alongside along with fellow family member Luke Harper annihilated Kane in their debut in their disturbing debut. It sent a clear message to the WWE Universe. Uh, that the Wyatts were a twisted force to be reckoned with, standing almost seven feet tall with the creepy lamb, uh, or standing seven feet tall with the red beard. Rowan enters the ring with a creepy lamb mask, instilling fear into anyone who dares set foot in the ring with him. Led by the enigmatic Bray Wyatt, there's no telling what damage this deprived clan can unleash onto the WWE universe. And other figures in this line include CM Punk, Luke Harper, Damian Sandow, Goldust, and Andre the Giant. That's all we have for Eric Rowan, so what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him opened up, and we'll go on to the rest of his review, so sit tight everybody. And so here we have Eric Rowan posing out of the packaging. Now he does come with two accessories. Let's get the big fish out of the picture first of all. He does come with the rocking chair. Uh... It came in several pieces, I believe the this side, this side, and then the little supports right here and the seat part all mixed together. I I don't have the instructions anymore, but it does rock. So really nice detail and, and, and I'm glad it actually rocks even though Bray Wyatt has a hard time, you know, rocking in it and I'll show that probably in another video or maybe at the end. I don't know yet. And what is Rowan without his next accessory, which is this creepy sheep lamb mask? I don't know if it's a sheep or a lamb. But nice detail on it. Um, I would have liked it if... Oh, sorry about that. If it was a little worn, like they threw in some kind of wash to make it seem like, you know, it's been through a lot of damage and... You know, just something, I can't even hold on to it, something a little more so that it's not just this, you know, white beige color. But really nice detail, it does have the wool sculpted in. You can see it is fitted to, it is fitted to form to Rowan's face. Moving that off to the side so we can get a nice look at Eric Rowan of the Wyatt family. I'm going to say he's probably... I actually like him. He's my least favorite of the Wyatt family, but as a figure, he's actually quite cool. Uh, I'm going to just knock off a few points right here due to quality control, because, yeah, I noticed this in the packaging that his arm was, like, bent at a weird angle, and, yeah, his arm's just really loose, as you can see. Doesn't take much to move it, and just flops around, so... That kind of sucks, but you know, at least his arm can be supported outwards, so I, I guess it's not a major loss. But he has a, some nice detail going about him. Uh, let me just stand him up straight so he doesn't fall over. You can see he's... That's not really an upset face, it's just kind of meh. His jumpsuit. I know a lot of people were saying that the jumpsuit should have been cloth, but realistically, this is probably the best way to go about it because he never took off his jumpsuit, and the only time I've ever seen it unzipped is when Big Show slapped his chest. So getting the camera situated. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad that they decided to mold everything on him because, you know, it being cloth, it would have just... It wouldn't have looked right. They'd have to find a body that could work well with them. So I think this is just the better alternative rather than making this out of cloth. It is quite hollow. You know, you don't hear that. You can hear that sound. That's audible that it's hollow. And if you've ever cracked open the torso, it obviously is. But there's not much in there. 
I'm going to say that. But anyway, going on to, well, let's go into a size comparison, shall we? Uh, we'll move him off to the side. And we'll bring in his Wyatt family brethren, Luke Harper. And as you can see, Eric Rowan is taller. And I'm pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, you know, they look nice standing next to each other. You know, he's probably the brains of the operation, if Wyatt's not there. But putting him off to the side, let's go on to Rowan's articulation. He has the standard elite articulation, which is a bulge in the head. You can look up and down surprisingly well. Left and right, once again, surprisingly well. His beard seems to just conform to whatever side his head is on, so that's nice. His head also tilts back and forth. Arms on a ball and go out. They don't do a full 360, believe it or not. Uh, what happens is that the way that this is sculpted, his arms will always go out at an angle. There's nothing you can really do about it unless you shave some of this off, which I don't plan on doing that because... You know, I might damage the figure even more, especially on this side. But he has a bicep swivel. He bends at the elbow, spins and bends at the wrist. And it's the same for both arms. He has a really loose waist on mine. So, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. But his ab joint works fine. Legs go out to about that far. They go back, out. He spins at the thigh. He is double jointed at the knee, as you can see there. One joint, two joints. And has this ball rocker ankle that seems to be the go-to for all these pant wrestlers, which I'm okay with. It works. It gives them a little more range. So that's Eric Rowan for you. What I'm going to do now is get him pose up and move on to my final thoughts. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Eric Rowan pose for my final thoughts. And overall, I really do enjoy this figure. Um, Minus the quality control, which is something beyond my control. I might have to like go out and find another Luke Harper, or not Luke Harper, Eric Rowan to fix this problem. But in the meantime, this is actually a really nice figure. I, I don't plan on getting rid of him anytime soon. But I found him at Target, and I paid about $21 for him. That's what you're going to be paying for Elite figures these days. Is he worth the pickup? Well... If you're following current wrestling, yes, he is worth a pickup because he is part of the Wyatt family, even though at the time I'm making this video, they've broken up already. But if you can find him, pick him up. He's a really nice figure, and in your display, he'll look great next to uh, Luke Harper and Bray Wyatt, especially because he comes with the rocking chair. That is probably the biggest accessory you need for the Wyatt family. Uh, if you can find them, pick them up. You won't be disappointed. And this is King of Dragons 5000 saying, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.